Guys, welcome back. This is Code Forces round 903 div 3, and we're gonna solve the second problem that is three threadlets. So they are telling that once upon a time there was a bartender called as Dekim and he found three threadlets and also a pair of scissors. Now Dekim will choose any thread and he will cut it into two threadlets whose uh, lengths are positive integers. So for example, let's try out like uh, if this is the thread of length 5 he can cut it into two pieces. So for one cut, there will be i plus one pieces. So it can be split into two, three or one, four or four, one like that. But it can never be 2.5, 2.5. It cannot be any decimal format. And the sum of these two cuts should be the sum of the total length. Sum of these two pieces should be the sum of the total length. That's what they are telling. Now what they are telling is he can perform at most three operations. We did only one cut. We can have at most three cuts so that all the threads in that will remain the same so they are asking whether is it possible to make all the threadlets of equal length here we took only one right but similarly there will be three threads of same or different sizes and he can have at most three cuts uh, two cuts are also possible three cuts any number of cuts are possible but all the the length of all of this uh, cutted pieces should be same they are asking if it's possible print yes or else it's print no. Let's take this example 1, 3, 2. So for this example, let's say uh, this is the base condition. So minimum is 1 and this is 3 and this is 2. We will have uh, 3 cuts here. This is 1 cut, 2 cut, 3 cut. Now these pieces are not same so definitely we will go with 1 cut. So I will cut this one. So let's cut this one. Okay, I finished this. This can be split into 2 and 1. That is the 1 and 2 or 2 and 1. We'll check whether everything is equal or not. The size is 1, the size is 2, size is 1 and size is 2. Not possible. Again, what I'll do? I'll cut this one. So this operation is also complete. Okay, we are again getting one more 2 here. What I'll do? If uh, this is the size, I'll again cut this. This of 3 cuts are done. This will be split into 1 and 1. So what happens? 1 is the size, 1 is the size of this thread, 1 is the size of this thread, 1 is the size, 1 is the size, 1 is the size. After 3 cuts, after at max 3 cuts, all these threads have the same length, right? We have around uh, 6 pieces, 6 pieces of having 1 centimeter, like 1 uh, unit. So it is possible for us to make uh, every thread equal. So we kept yes here. Now for 555, already it's equal. We don't have to do 3 cuts. At max only 3 cuts. So with 0 cuts, we are able to achieve it. If it's not able to achieve, we can just say that it is no. So now let's understand this with the... Let's try to figure out like how can we go ahead and do it. So what is the first thing that comes to our mind is brute force. What is brute force? We try all the combinations that are available. So either 0 cuts are also possible, 1 cut is possible and 2 cut is possible and 3 cut is possible. So for that what are all the combinations? 0, 0, 0, 0 cuts are possible. Suppose I am cutting only the second element, I will keep that, okay, 1 cut is possible. Suppose I am cutting only the third element, I can say that, okay, here it's possible. I am cutting all the elements, at, so 3, that is possible. And I am cutting 2 cuts on the first, 2 cuts on the second and 1 cut on the third that is also possible. So there are many combinations and it will be much less, right? There won't be lot of combinations at all. So let's say that this is i, this is j, this is k. I can simply put in a loop and generate all these combinations. So it will be like i nested to j and nested to k. What is the condition that we need to fill this? Like uh, i will go from 1 to 3 and j will go from 1 to 3. Uh, sorry, I will go from 0 to 3, J will go from 0 to 3 and K also goes from 0 to 3. What is the condition that we need to go? We should not go beyond uh, 4 cuts, right? Beyond 3 cuts. So you just have to say that if I plus J plus K, if the num total number of cuts is greater than 3, I won't execute further. I have to always make sure that the total number of cuts is always less than or equal to 3, then only I'll go ahead and cut. So we got the cutting part. We generated all the cuts that are possible, all the different combinations of cuts that are possible and we are trying to cut it here. What is the next thing that we are going to try out? With that cut, am I able to generate equal piece or not? So for example, let's say uh, something like phi is there. Let's not consider uh, if this is A thread, this is B thread and it is C thread. 
first of all for a single thread every piece should be equal right we don't have to consider others for a single thread if we cut it all the pieces should be equal so for a single cut for phi will we be able to uh, get into equal pieces not possible right 2 3 only possible or 3 2 is possible so it is not possible at all so here itself flawed so for two cuts is it possible or not for phi it can be like uh, 1 1 and uh, 3 that is possible or 2 uh, 3 and 2 this is also possible but still we are not able to get equal with uh, two cuts also one cut also poss not possible two cut also not possible how do i know that for uh, uh, the number of cuts are we able to generate equal pieces or not so the logic here is very simple if the number is same then we can say that it is possible i'll show you so if suppose six is there we can put it into three and three for one cut you can split into half right how does how do we know it it is like three times two is six this two is the variable here so three x equal to six so uh, there is a perfect divisor that is there for six right so what do we say that if six mod three is it three not no right six mod three is equal to equal to zero but in this case we have to check the number of pieces so i say that it's six mod two equal to equal to zero if six mod two equal to equal to zero means i have a length of uh, size six is it possible for me to split it into two equal pieces so i say that six mod two equal to equal to zero this one i have a, a thread of length six is it possible for me to split into three equal pieces how do i split into three equal pieces six it will be two 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 right so three equal pieces also possible two equal pieces are possible it is cleanly dividing so if a number is uh, definitely divisible then we can say that that is uh, always produce the same number so that is possible but the thing is after dividing this is okay for one thread it is possible we are generating for all the cases right for this cut we are able to generate now we need to check c also if we are able to generate and a also are we able to generate equal pieces e not equal pieces equal length so if a is also able to generate equal length after cutting b is also able to generate pieces of equal length and c is also able to generate pieces of equal length then at last i'll say that okay uh, are the length of each of the pieces is same or not but one thing we need to notice here is you are able to get the cut here only the cut with this cut how do i know the number of pieces so as we told earlier if there is a single cut there will be two pieces if there is two cut there will be three pieces so what is the relation if there are i cut there will be i plus one pieces if there are j cuts there will be j plus one pieces if there are k cuts there will be k plus one pieces so we know i j k we generated all of this but how do we know the pace we just have to increment by one so if there are two cuts are there means i just want to divide it by three so here in this case what happened uh, j gave us the value of one let's assume that j gave us the value of one i have one cut so what do i do i just want to check that six mod two is equal to equal to zero or not i assume that okay there is only one cut that is happening and i very well know that there are two pieces that comes so if for two pieces that means if i cuts are there i plus one pieces are possible then i have to check whether i plus one can neatly divide it into uh, pieces of equal sizes or not now so what is the relation that we got if a mod i plus one is equal to equal to zero again a is the total thread i plus 1 represents the total number of pieces after i cuts and if everything will have equal size for a or not if it is equal to equal to 0 similarly for b mod j plus 1 equal to equal to 0 and c mod k plus 1 equal to equal to 0 if everything is done we just have to make sure that uh, the size generated from here that is a by i plus 1 will give you one size b by i j plus 1 will give you the size of each piece after the cut of j c by k plus 1 if all of this is equal then we can definitely say that then we can definitely say that the answer is yes 6 by 2 is what 3 
if uh, this is something like 3 this is also 3 and this is also 3 some number if you are able to generate this number it's same then it is possible now let's look at the code so the code is simple uh, i just generated all the three characters or uh, all the combinations as i told earlier so if the i plus j plus j is greater than 3 means if the number of cuts are greater than 3 i won't proceed further i just continue it a mode i plus 1 so for a thread of size a am i able to generate i plus 1 pieces of equal length if i am able to generate this for a if i am able to generate for b if i am able to generate for c then i can go ahead and find the size of each piece if size of uh, 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 a's piece after cutting b uh, size of b's pieces after cutting and size of c's pieces are also same after cutting then i can say that f equal to 1 break i found the value then I come here, okay, if f is already, we got f equal to 1, if it is true, you break it, break it, break it, come back here. Now, if f is a true value, f is having a positive value, then I assume that already I found a value somewhere on the for loop. So, you just print yes or else you print no. And uh, this is the solution number. That's all. Uh, so, if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. We'll be glad to help. And uh, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to comment. Thank you so much.